Hello, practitioner here, um, bachelor of science student, magician, and I'm an agnostic. Uh, so um, anyway, I'm replying to this, not for the contest, but uh, I saw the username Richard Dawkins vid, and when I saw that this was directly a vid by uh, uh, called the Out Campaign by Richard Dawkins. Um, Richard Dawkins, if this actually is you who's running this video clip, then um, per, then hopefully I've come to the right person again. Uh, please do leave a comment on this video to let me know if it actually is Richard Dawkins I'm speaking to. Okay, the global sign is over the wrong side of the bed. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, um, that was a trick I pulled on myself earlier. Anyway, um, uh, basically, uh, if this is actually Richard Dawkins who I'm uh, talking to, uh, you might want to read this uh, month's issue of Skeptical Inquirer. Uh, did a rather interesting review on you, uh, comparing you to Darwin. Uh, and then right on the very first page of it, uh, talks about uh, some apparently needless arguments you made uh, about talking about the... Um, uh, oh, God, where is it here? Uh, I need the light. I can't even read properly. Uh, here we go. Um, uh, okay. Um, talks about uh, the... Um, uh, it talks about the... Uh, uh, Conceding, uh, here's what it reads. This is by uh, Erwin Tessman, a professor emeritus of biology at Purdue University. Um, let's see. Uh, here we go. Um, Dawkins uh, invents a nearly subliminal version of this game. Uh, conceding that some scientists are sincerely religious, Dawkins describes one of them, a Francis Collins, a, a devoutly relig religious evangelical Christian, as the administrative head uh, of the American branch of the official Human Genome Project. Emphasis added. He doesn't refer to Collins as simply the head or the director, which he was of the project, but gratuitously tries to diminish his role by implying that Collins' role was only administrative. In this very same paragraph, he refers to his uh, friend Jim Watson, who is strongly irreligious, as the founding genius of the Human Genome Project, all, uh, ignoring the fact that Watson could have also been uh, labeled as the administrative head of the German pro uh, um, uh, um, uh, administrative head of the Human Genome Project before he uh, resigned under fire and was completely uh, eventually replaced by Collins who uh, saw the project to its completion. Ignored by Dawkins uh, uh, is the pioneering leadership of Collins in the successful search for and sequencing of genes involved in cystic fibrosis, neurofibromatosis, uh, and Huntington's disease. Ignored uh, also was the election of Collins uh, uh, to the National, Aca um, National Academy of Sciences in 1993. And then to rub it in, Dawkins inserts a footnote cautioning the reader not to confuse the official geno human genome project which the, uh, with the unofficial one, which was led by that brilliant and non-religious buccaneer of science, Craig Venter. Venter uh, was elected in 2002 uh, in the, into the same section of the uh, National Academy that Collins was in. Now here's the bit which gets, uh, to, this is the bit which um, the next paragraph is the one in particular you ought to pay attention to. Uh, why do I devote such space, to, uh, so, uh, so much space to such petty stuff? Um, to make two points. The first is that Dawkins recklessly implies that smart scientists are the best judges of whether there, uh, of whether there is a god. It is conceivable that scientists, most especially outstanding scientists, are too engrossed in their scientific studies to give much intellectual thought to the subject of religion. It's uh, it is uh, it's important to remember that nothing in science gets resolved by authority, but by the revo but rather by the voice of reason. My point is that Dawkins, Dawkins weakens his case by, un, by, uh, by unnecessarily including a weak argument. Added to that is my second point, which, to expo which is to expose uh, bias in Dawkins' presentation and to question his objectivity. Um, Richard Dawkins, if this is you, um, you have been as well uh, commented on by other fellow scientists before for having done uh, uh, you know, uh, much more brash approaches before about uh, possibly uh, pushing religion away. Uh, so again, this month's issue of Skeptical Inquirer, if this actually is Richard Dawkins I'm talking to, please do uh, give a response vid, as I would very much appreciate uh, hearing your thoughts on this. Who knows, maybe there's something that, uh, that, this, um, that this particular author, um, you know, again, that's the reason I recommend getting this and reading the article in full context. Uh, maybe there's something that he missed or that he's uh, straw manning inadvertently or something like that, which I would very much appreciate clarification on. Um, and if it isn't Richard Dawkins I'm talking to, but you do have uh, access to, uh, but you do talk to Richard Dawkins or whatever, just uh, send him, uh, just give him a forward to this link or what have you, so this way he can uh, get a hold of it and get back to me. Um, otherwise, yeah, uh, keep up the good. Um, otherwise, yeah, um, keep up the good work arguing for atheism, because uh, Lord knows we need uh, we need to be uh, we need every uh, voice we can get out there to uh, tackle the hordes of the religious uh, unre irrationals. 
Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, I digress. Uh, and again, like I said, Dawkins, if, uh, if it is you I'm talking to, again, um, strengthening of one's critical thinking arguments can't hurt, or at least double-checking on it, or at the very least giving me clarification to let me know where things are at. That being said, um, I will um, bid you adieu. And uh, like I said, if it is Dawkins I'm talking to, please send me a video response or leave a comment on the, vi on the video below. If it isn't Dawkins I'm actually talking to, uh, please just leave a comment to let me know it isn't Dawkins and that I've gotten the wrong person. Uh, at which point I'll just email Dawkins myself directly with this. Thanks a bunch. Um, toodles.